That's amazing. This is a special thing. You can go anywhere, you'll never see this. Trust me. It's a special sighting. Said, no way, they're not gonna come back by the highways. No. If they pet oh, you're gonna fuck up with each other. If if they pet they can drive one and light us away. That's true. They know that it doesn't work. Look, oh, she's been beaten. Eh? That one was beaten? Yeah, she's beaten. You saw the one they've been yeah. biting, beating yeah. the lioness. Eh?
Flies on her though. And the other line's just kind of like scratching my cat. It's this one over. Oh, look, here comes a boy. Hey, boy Simba. Oh, look, look. here hey. comes a big boy. Kathy. Big boy. Where? He's behind the tree. Holy oh, shit. inside the water with hyenas surrounding him. The hyenas whoop frantically to call for support. Although they outnumber the male 20 to 1, they haven't got the necessary muscle to oust him. It often takes an entire lion pride to bring down such large prey. This male succeeded despite the fact he has a broken paw. Slowly the numbers of hyenas grew challenging this big male on numerous occasions and he was very reluctant to leave this buffalo.
managed to get him away from the carcass and they slowly managed to push this lion out to the side of the water. Injured and alone, the lion has no option but to surrender. They'll come, they'll come back onto the kill just now because they've separated the, the lines. One of them decides to go and give him the nip. No, this is a this is a good sighting. This is good. He doesn't know which way to turn. To him? Yeah. That's uh, three feet, four feet. That's what I thought. No, he's putting his tail up. He's a bit worried now. Yeah, and his ears back. He's, he's not happy. He's angry. I mean, any one of those can have a nip on him, and he's then going to end up with all sorts of infections. He doesn't need it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That'll chase him off the kill now.
and what's that territorial sort of back leg sort of yeah very marking his territory yeah. Brothers, not all at all, right? Probably, yeah. Well, these these are pretty close to mature, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're probably, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Jackson, how old are these? These two? No. They're quite old, they're two, three years. Five years. Okay. A few nights later, strange wails and laughter pierce the gathering dusk. I just heard this incredible noise. Hyenas. Obviously there was something afoot. It is Farai, alive but bone thin, weak and facing a vicious mob. Life as a nomad had obviously taken its toll and we couldn't believe how bad Farai was looking. It was just incredible to see a lion in such poor condition. I mean, all signs of his mane had disappeared, and he was just an extremely thin and desperate lion. Farai is engaged in a fight for his life, and then comes the cavalry. He's formed a coalition with another nomadic male, one who is also in terrible condition, but his presence is enough to turn the tide. Desperate battle, the lions drive off the hyenas and then exact a grisly revenge. In the aftermath, Farai has taken a hyena cub. Hyenas are relatively slow breeders, and the death of a single cub can be an enormous loss. seems almost too weak and exhausted to eat the cub. It's most unusual for a lion to eat a hyena, but Farai was obviously really desperate and starving. Still, the Richardsons hold out some hope for the young lion. Given the fact that he'd survived through most of the dry season and he had formed coalition with another male, he'd obviously hung in this long and we just hoped that he'd manage to hang in a bit longer.